Hey what's up everybody this is Tay and I'm going to show you how to achieve this sleek sexy middle part that you see here featuring London virgin hair so if you like what you see continue watching. Then I tell her me she give her never trust another nigga. I say she give me from the nigga. Say she feeling on the nigga. Say she run another nigga. I who's that? Baby, tell me who's that? Look back, baby, make ya look back. I move that. Where ya move that? Touch that, baby, be just All right, so let's get started. First, we're gonna start off with some got to be glued, and we're gonna apply that close to our hairline, not on our hairline, but close to our hairline. Now we're going to blow dry that got to be glued until it becomes tacky. You don't want to blow dry it all the way dry of course because you want your lace to be able to stick to it. Now it's time to put the lace and lay it down on top of the got to be glued. So you want to make sure that your alignment is right so that when you lay it down you don't have to take it off and redo the process. So just make sure your alignment is right, put it down and press it down onto the glue so that it actually sticks. Now I'm going to comb through the hair to make sure I get out any kind of tangles and I'm going to start sectioning off the hair to proceed straightening. So I like to get as close to the lace as possible when it comes to the root so that I have the most sleekest part that I can possibly get. So get as close as you can to your lace and uh, just flat iron everything else accordingly. So what you're going to see me keep doing is taking out small sections, combing through that small section, and then flat ironing the small section and getting as close to the root as possible just to make sure that I'm getting the flattest outcome that I can possibly get. Now it's time to work on these baby hairs. So what I like to do is section them off, comb through them, and then I press them with my flat iron a little bit. And once I've done that, I move on to my toothbrush, spray it with a little bit of some hairspray, and then from there I brush the baby hairs into the shape that I would like them to take. Now I'm going to do the same thing on to the other side. So at this point I'm pretty much done but I am going to put some finishing touches on this hair by taking some hairspray as you'll see in the next clip and I'll be spraying it down on the top of my hair to lay down any of the flyaways that you see at the top here. So you just Spray some and just press it down with your hands and everything should be a-okay from this point. Alright girls, let's talk. So this hair is from London Virgin Hair. This hair is super soft, silky, and it is long as fuck. Alright, this is some long, long, long hair and I love it. This hair is longer than the day. So I got 24 inches, 22 inches, 20 inches, 18 inches, and then a 16 inch 4x4 lace closure. I have no complaints about the bundles. The bundles are freaking superb. Like every single bundle, as soon as I touched it, I knew. I knew that this was some hair that I'm going to have for at least a year or more because this hair is absolutely pure virgin. I can feel it. It has body. It has movement. It's just free flowing. It has uh, no processing. You could just tell processed hair from unprocessed hair and it just is just really good to the touch. There's no tangling, no shedding, none of that. Only issue I've had with this unit so far is the closure. The hair, like I said, the bundles are amazing, okay? Like, I have no qualms with the bundles. The bundles are just sickening. They're great. 
the only problem I have with the closure is that there's so many flyaways. You can see it now, like the little hair is sticking up. I'm trying to see if you can see it. There you go. That is the the only problem I've had with this wig is the flyaways and um, it was in an abundance. I had to cut it off um, with my scissors and um, I tried to shear it off with my razor. Like I did a lot to get it to the point where it is and there's still flyaways happening and I, I hairsprayed it down. I tried my best to make it look to smooth it out. That's the only problem I have with the flyaways. Other than that, the hair is perfect. It's beautiful, silky, shiny. It's just the closure itself um, has a little bit of um, that issue. Like I said, with patience and, and time, you can fix it to make it look less visible, the flyaways. Like what I did was overnight, um, when I was done doing the wig, I took it off and I put it on my mannequin head, sprayed it down with some water and a little bit of hairspray, and I tied it down so that the hair would lay flat overnight. That did help out a lot. So if you're having a problem with the flyaways, that's what you can do to kind of like tame them so that they're not going all over the place and looking crazy. Um, I did run my brush and comb through the hair, so maybe that's why this top part is loosening up right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try my best to continue to um, cut away some of the extra long ones like this. like. But other than that, I have no complaints. That's just the one complaint is that the flyaways are abundant <laughs> in the closure, but the hair itself is immaculate, soft, pretty. It's not stringy. It doesn't have that dead hair feel. You can still um, run your fingers through it. This is hair that you can uh, dye or bleach if you want to. Me personally, I don't like the color thing. I've always liked dark hair. I, just, I always feel like it fits better with me and my skin tone to have darker hair so you won't see me dye any of my units that I make but I do love the texture, the feel, the everything about this hair. It's, it's legit. It's legit good hair. And I'm gonna try to like kind of stand up a little bit a little bit so that you can see how long this hair really 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 is. It goes all the way down like to my hip bones pretty much and um, I'm about 5'6", five, 5'7", uh, five, so the hair is long, okay? Um, yes, this hair is gorgeous. I love it. It's definitely very sexy. Um, you can, you know, do your little weave dance. I like to do the weave dance. That's how I know if the hair is good or not, if you do the weave dance. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is it. Look how soft that is. Look how shiny and healthy that is. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful, great night, day, evening, whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you in my next video, boo. Bye. And by the way, I'll be back in two weeks to update you on this hair.